Hi guys, in this video I'm going to attempt to explain or make an explanation of what we mean in statistics when we talk about uh, the sampling distribution of the sample mean or said much more succinctly the X bar distribution X bar distribution as opposed to what I have here which I'll explain in a second which is the X distribution here right or we also call the X distribution more properly the population distribution okay so the way I'm gonna attempt to explain this which a textbook actually has trouble doing because it is a static source of information as good as it is here I'm going to try to explain to you with uh, a little interaction okay so here's the basic idea this row right here we can almost eliminate okay our data is actually these guys over here so let me move these over okay so this is our X these are our X's also called our data and for our little example this is actually our population so if you've taken a stats course you know that your population is usually a huge number of people or objects well for the purposes of explaining this today I'm going to use a very small population because I think it'll help you see better okay so because I'm talking about a population I'm going to ca calculate the average and that average is going to be called the mu right because this is a population so actually there's a uh, shortcut alt 230 will give you that Greek symbol mu so that's how I'm getting that mu and I'll calculate it the same way I would cal calculate X bar in Excel equals average and I'll average all the numbers or all the data all the values all the observations in my population right so my mu or the true average is 9.62 let's also calculate sigma which is the population standard deviation that's alt 228 I believe nope alt 229 yes 228 is for capital sigma okay that's the sigma notation and this is uh, calculated in Excel with ver dot p for population because this is our population okay and so here's our mean and standard deviation for our population even though this seems so impractical you'll see that this you need a small example to be able to understand the concepts at first before you for those of you who uh, don't want to take what uh, the textbook is or your professors are telling you uh, on faith we're going we're doing it here with a uh, five a number of population so that you could see it with your own eyes okay so what we do here and part of what theories like the central limit theorem uh, discuss and and hypothesis testing in general deals with the X bar distribution or the sampling distribution of the sample mean so why don't we take a sample of size n equals 2 okay if from this population if we do that we I have calculated prior that we're gonna get 10 samples but you'll see how I got that first of all I'm gonna label these guys a b c d e okay and then I'm gonna label my samples they're samples of size 2 so I'm gonna say which one I pick so I'm gonna go straight down I'm gonna do a B that's my first sample and then I'm gonna get the X bar for that for that sample right 
So the way I do that is equals average, and then I'll average just a b. That's one x bar, right? A c would be the next sample of size two. I'm going to get all samples of size two. A d, a e, then b c, b d, b e, and then c d, c e. And finally, maybe D, E. I think I got them all. Let's see. Yes, all 10 of them. Okay. And for each one, I have to be careful to get the correct X bar. If this is for A, C, I have to get A. I hold Control key down and click C equals average A, D equals average yeah. a e equals average b c equals average b d equals average b e equals average CD almost there equals average CE and finally equals average DE okay so we got all the X bars for samples of size n equals 2 and so there was 10 of those samples of size 2 and we enumerated them here here are their x bars. Now, we know in the central limit theorem, for example, and other theorems that relate the x distribution to the x bar distribution, that the mu of the x bar distribution is equal to the mu of the x distribution. So this is 2, 3, 0 is equal to and I'll do an underscore x bar okay so mu of x these guys which we calculated here is equal to mu of these guys which I'm gonna calculate right now and see if these two numbers match okay so let's calculate that here so we'll do mu of x bar and we'll calculate it using the average function and on this time I'm averaging all the x bars so these are all the possible x bars when you set your sample size to 2 from this population here okay and we hit enter and we see that this x bar is equal to this x bar and so this is proven for you okay this is huge because a lot of times students have problems taking this guy on faith and so now you see it and trust me if you made your sample size three here and you did this you'd get a lot more samples but you'd get the same 9.602 once you got all of them same thing with sample size of four and sample size of 1, if you think about it, is just this. Sample size of 5, there's only going to be one sample, and that's going to be uh, also have an x bar equal to 9.602. So with a small example, you could see this in action. Now, I also have, haven't shown you that sigma of x bar is equal to sigma of x over the square root of n and the reason why I'm not showing you this here is because when you have a finite population and you sample I believe the, the number is 20 percent of your population then there is this con finite population continuity correction factor which is in the form of 
square root of the population size minus the sample size over the population size minus 1. And I believe this right here is something most of you are not dealing with in your uh, this guy right here. You're not dealing with in your uh, intro and intermediate uh, stats courses. So I think even though it's usually noted as a as a end note or a little side note, I don't want to add any further confusion. In other words, in doing this small example, I was able to sh make something very clear, but I wasn't able to go the whole way and show you this, how this equals this, okay? An actual calculation, I'm proving it, because I would have to introduce this slight complication, which is not so difficult to deal with, but won't serve to um, make your understanding clear, okay? So, just believe this one on faith. These calculations all work out, and most of the time you don't have to worry about this, if ever. Okay, so at least I hope you got a couple things out of this. You understand how the x bar distribution de uh, relates to the x or the population distribution, and we saw clearly that the mu of x bar is equal to the mu of x. This guy. Okay, so I hope this was helpful a little. Uh, Till next time, check out my other videos. I have other stats, Excel, R. Uh, access and PowerPoint tutorial videos, subscribe, comment, and have a great day.